So good evening and welcome to this open society debate on whether the freedom to debate is becoming the freedom to hate. You cannot incite violence uh, and uh, not pay a penalty. But giving offense, uh, anything can give offense. It's in the eye of the beholder. There are limits and also limits by law. And I think that what we have, that it's illegal to incite to violence and illegal. Uh, but that should stop here, not go very far. Because then it depends on the culture of the moment, of the government of the moment, uh, uh, what is permitted and what is not permitted. There are grave risks to allowing unfettered speech uh, and not prosecuting anybody. Uh, and we can see this in certain contexts in Europe now, uh, where certain forms of speech which would have been unheard of 15, 20 years ago have become mainstream. And it's become normal. There is no way for a law to specify what is actually prohibited. You can't possibly do it because you can say things uh, in a million different ways. I don't want to overstress the importance of prosecuting hate speech. My fundamental stance is that this should be one part of the toolkit along with education, information, awareness raising, civil society involvement, hotlines, uh, but that if you throw out this tool, you will have an incomplete toolkit uh, to deal with it. And the threshold in Europe, for various reasons, is higher than that in America, and I like that, I think it's good. You know, the United States is a country um, which has a long history of racial conflict. Um, and yet, um, at this particular time, we actually have a lot less um, hate speech than is common in Europe. And yet, we allow everybody to, uh, to speak. So why are your laws, which supposedly allow you to punish all this, uh, making it possible for all this racism uh, to be expressed. <laughs> I think you have two very wealthy groups of people with not very dissimilar views. Uh, you have plenty of crazy people with guns. Uh, you have plenty of races. <laughs> you have plenty of, 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 of racists. We have a trem uh, tremendous amount of racism, but we don't have a lot of racist speech. One of the reasons why this hate speech and populism and violent po are propagating so much is that mostly all the reasonable others have been particularly quiet. The traditional parties have lost their voter loyalty, have uh, lost the ability to speak with people. Uh, the economic crisis feeds into uh, the situation, people looking for sca scapegoats. Apparently, the active politician wants to, to win election from time to time, um, which is also understandable, let's say. Uh, it remains that uh, uh, there are times in which you have to decide where you stand. The solution, of course, has to be the revitalization of political parties, of other yes, people standing up. It also has to be um, leadership by yes. the, um, uh, the yeah. mainstream uh, political figures. Yeah. They have to speak out. Um, clearly and, and forcefully um, about these matters. I don't think the internet has fundamentally changed the game with, I don't think that's what's new. Um, I think it has given new tools uh, to, to groups. Uh, it has created perhaps new communities, different kinds of communities, uh, and, and eased organization and, and the spreading of views. If you say that the internet is not really making a very huge difference in the way that hate speech is being propagated, then you're wrong. There are no longer any gatekeepers. Um, everybody's a journalist, everybody who's a part of an extreme extremist group can publish anything and will publish anything. We need to be creative. Uh, we need to bring in civil society activists who know who know the situation much better than law enforcement often. Uh, and we need to embolden people to speak out. Uh, but we also need to have a discussion 
with internet service providers, these big internet companies have a whole lot of power. Uh, and who are they accountable to with regard to what they're blocking, what they're taking down, what they're allowing? You have to use the internet itself in order to denounce uh, the hate speech uh, that is um, disseminated um, on the, um, the internet. Do your children, if you have children, do they read newspapers? No. Do they watch news programs? No. They're on social media. This is where they live. Uh, and if we do not become literate and active in this medium, hmm. we will be irrelevant. What Obama said at the UN was, you know, the cure for bad speech is more speech. And I think that is, in fact, the, uh, the right approach.